This is not a pipe. Why, this is Innocent X by Velázquez, a masterpiece of portraiture of all time, presented in a lovely frame. And down he comes, as always, to attack Marcel Duchamp. Spitting dentures and dragging him off into the wonderful world of Velázquez, which in this case is a 17th century garden in Rome. Where Marcel is attacked by short little dresses of the Infanta Margarita of Spain. They rain down on him while he also has to confront the court dresses. The longer ones. And enters this wondrous perspective of Palazzo Spada built by Borromini. Which takes him directly into Velasquez's study of the Los Meninas. He has to be very careful there because the palette is dangerous. Watch out for the painting too. He's just been absorbed by the infinite spatio-temporal of the very concept of Velasquez's painting, lying in wait like a trap for the gaze of unwary viewers. Marcel has to avoid the pallet and go confront the man over there in the back. It's King Philip IV, who is transformed into a dwarf and even more regal. Marcel is absorbed by the pallet in its infinite gradations, Rose la vie. Now he's lost his second life. He still has the third. Meanwhile, the door has opened. He goes through and reaches the hallway of Palazzo Doria Pamphili. In a sense, the tenth exits. Miracle. Miracle, Marcel is shrinking. The miracle is not the work of Pope Innocent X. It's the product of the magic of Velázquez that every time transfigures the representation itself. The dentures move aggressively toward Marcel, who defends himself with his spray can. The dentures are set in a fiendish grin. It's laughter derived from a scream. It's laughter that comes from the screams of Innocent X, revisited by Francis Bacon in the 1950s. Yes, and let me add that Innocent the Tenth didn't like the grin of Velasquez had painted of him, did he? That's right. The Pope didn't like seeing himself prettified because that grin expressed the perverse psychology of spiritual power that betrays the corrupt temporal power of the Papist Rome of the major aristocratic families. And here, Innocent the Tenth is revealed for what he truly is. A new Innocent X appears, mind you, still in his self-moving wheelchair, which obviously dates much later, from the 20th century. Yep, up to date it is. And he keeps shooting these dentures at Marcel, who finally has to stand up to him directly. He's doing quite well for himself at the moment, and he'll probably manage to kick him out of the game, blasting him with his spray can. In fact, the Pope is already transforming. He's changing color. He's revealed, revealed for what he is, for the grin that Francis Bacon revealed him with, and now, finally, he's free from celebration. Another masterpiece is free at last.